Most of us aren't getting enough protein and this is a problem because higher protein intakes they are associated with longer lifespan and improved strength. So what's the ideal protein intake and how does protein powder fit into this? Like I mentioned in the last video on creatine, the stronger we are, the longer our lifespan even after adjusting for fitness levels. So we want to try and maximize our muscle strength in youth, maintain that strength during our adult years and minimize the loss in older years. So for optimal muscle building, the International Society for Sports Nutrition suggests an overall daily protein intake in the range of 1.4 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. And these protein doses should be spaced evenly every 3 to 4 hours across the day. And we've got awesome evidence for improved muscle strength from a 2018 systematic review that involved 1,863 people which showed that dietary protein supplementation significantly increased all changes in strength, free fat mass and muscle size. Now, the goal of that analysis was to deliver evidence-based recommendations that can be easily applied to the general population. And that's why this analysis is so crucial. These participants already had a much higher protein intake than the general population. And even despite that, when they were supplementing with extra protein, they had further increases in strength and improvements in free fat mass. Interestingly though, there was a limit. Protein intakes above 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight per day didn't offer any extra benefits in terms of strength. The authors also point out that it's crucial to do resistance training exercises and not just rely on protein intake alone. We want the combination for optimal longevity. Now that 1.6 gram per kilogram of body weight per day target is interesting, but we do have mice studies that show that lower protein intakes are associated with longer life. And that's why some researchers such as Dr. Walter Longo, they suggest lowering protein intake. For me personally though, I want to rely on the human clinical research. So I will stick with the 1.6 gram per kilogram of body weight per day target. I also want to point out that for people over the age of 60 years old that I see in the clinic, I recommend to them to have 2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight per day. Often the older adults, they're not getting enough protein and they're not absorbing that protein as efficiently as a younger person, so they need higher protein intakes. Relying on diet alone to reach those targets can be difficult and this is where protein powder can be a very powerful way to reach those targets. Personally, I use use pea protein powder because that's got a lower dose of the amino acid called methionine and I mix that pea protein powder into my morning smoothie. We've also got evidence from a 2022 systematic review that protein supplementation can improve body mass index, reduce fat mass and waist circumference. To sum things up then, many of us aren't reaching that 1.6 gram per kilogram of body weight per day target and pea protein powder can be a powerful way to help reach those targets. For older adults, I suggest to them to increase their protein intakes further and aim for 2 grams per kilogram of body weight per day. And when shopping for protein powder, make sure to select a brand that's third party tested. So I use the website labdoor.com. The final thing that I want to mention is that it's likely that not all protein sources are equal. There was a large systematic review in 2020 published in the British Medical Journal showing that plant protein was associated with an even lower risk of all cause and cardiovascular mortality and replacement of foods high in animal protein with plant protein sources could be associated with longevity. A massive thank you to all of the patrons and channel members and make sure to check out this next video here where we have a look at a recent human study on ways to reduce dementia rates. And a big thank you to donotage.org for their $10,000 donation to my rapamycin study. They are a health research organization and to benefit from their ingredients as well as a 10% discount code, check out the pinned comment.